In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can program a robot to avoid different obstacles. So in this video, what you're seeing is the robot is moving forward until it sees an object. Once it sees an object that is a certain distance away, then it'll rotate the ultrasonic sensor to the left and to the right. And then it'll turn in the direction where it measures a distance that is the greatest. So for example, if it turns to the right and measures a distance of 100, turns to the left and measures a distance of 25, then it would turn to the right because it has a greater distance between the next object. Okay, so to build the attachment for the ultrasonic sensor to mount onto the robot, what you're going to need are a medium motor, you'll need your ultrasonic sensor, you'll need two of these, I believe these are number 10s, you'll need four of the black pegs, one of the small blue pegs, two of these that have a hole on one side and a cross on the other. You'll need one of these, one of the red pegs, and then one of these pieces here. Okay, so what you want to do first is take these pieces and one of your black pegs, and you're going to put the black peg inside the hole, like that. You'll take your other piece, another black peg, and put it inside like that. Then you want to take your robot and on the inside here you're going to insert this one, the black peg, into the top hole. Just like that. And then you'll take your other one and put it on the other side. So when you're done it should look like this. Next, you're going to take one of your black axles and you're going to put it through the second hole on the side. And then before you push it all the way, you want to take your medium motor, insert it here, and then you just want to stick the black axle the rest of the way through. And just like that. Next, you'll take your wire. You're going to insert it into the bottom of the medium motor. And then you're going to stick it through the bottom. It'll go through the side. And then you want to plug it into port A. Okay, so next we're going to take our other So next we're going to take our other axle, we're going to insert it into here, into the motor. Next you'll take your piece that has three holes in it, you're going to put black pegs on both sides, and then you're going to put it over your axle here and down into the motor. So it should look like that. Next you're going to take your ultrasonic sensor and this piece right here. This piece is going to go on first. And then you'll take your ultrasonic sensor and your blue peg. You're going to insert the blue peg into the middle hole where the cross is. 
and then you're going to attach it onto here. So the blue peg will go in the first hole. And finally, you'll take your red peg and insert it in the bottom hole. And the last thing you would need is just another wire that goes from the ultrasonic sensor back into port four. Okay, so the program for this is gonna be quite long, but if we break it up into some smaller pieces, it's really not so bad. So the first thing we're gonna to try to work on is have the robot move forward until it detects an object in front of it that's maybe, let's say, 50 centimeters away. So to do this, we're gonna start under the orange tab. We're gonna grab a loop and connect it to our start button. Next, we're gonna to go to the green tab, grab a move steering block and put this inside. We're not gonna have it move forward for a certain rotations. We're just gonna turn the motors on. So we'll select options and then on. While the motors are on, we're going to be waiting for an object to be less than 50 centimeters away. To do that, you're going to go to the orange tab, grab a weight block, and then for the options, you're going to change it to ultrasonic sensor, and then compare, and then you can either choose distance for centimeters or distance in inches. I'm going to choose distance in, in, in centimeters. And so right now what it's doing, it's going forward, and then it's waiting for some object to be less than 50 centimeters away. Once we detect an object that is 50 centimeters away, let's just go ahead and stop the motors. To do that, I'm going to go back to the green tab, grab another move steering block, and for options this time, we're just going to turn it off. So right now our program is going forward until the object is less than 50 centimeters away, and then it'll stop. Okay, so that's the first part of the code. The next thing we want to do is once we're stopped, we want to turn the ultrasonic sensor to the left and then to the right. And then each time it turns, we want it to take a measurement. So the first thing we're going to do is have the ultrasonic sensor go to the left. To do that, we're going to use a media motor. And going from the forward position to the left, is a quarter rotation, so I'm going to put 0.25. And then after it's at that position, I'm going to have it wait a second. After that wait, then I'll go ahead and take a sensor reading. So I'm going to go under the yellow tab and find the ultrasonic sensor and put it right here. So once it takes this sensor reading, so it's going to turn to the left and then measure the distance between it and the nearest object. What we have to do though is store this value inside of a variable so that we can compare them later. So to store it in a variable, I'm gonna to go to the red tab, grab a variable, and since this one is measuring the distance to the left, we'll name this one left, and then press OK. To store the sensor reading, all you have to do is drag this block right here and connect it into the variable. And depending on which way your motor turns, this rotation right here might be to the right. If that's the case, go ahead and just change your variable from left to right. The next thing we're going to do after it's turned to the left and taken its sensor reading, we're going to have it turn to the right. So to go from the left position all the way to the right position, That'll be half a circle. So I'm going to grab another medium motor. And this time I'm going to change this one to 0.5. So it does half a circle, so it'll go from the left to the right. In that position, I'm going to have it wait a second like before. After it waits for a second, then we'll take another sensor reading. So I'll grab another ultrasonic sensor, and I'll need another variable. This time I'm going to make a new variable. This one's going to be called right. And I'm going to store the sensor reading inside of this variable. So, so far what we have, we have a turn to the left. It'll take a sensor reading. It'll store that in the variable called left. 
Then it'll turn to the right, take a sensor reading, and store this in the variable called right. Next, what I'm going to have it do is just go from the right position back to forward. So I'm going to use another media motor. And to go from the right position back to forward is a quarter rotation. So I'm going to change this one to 0.25. And after it does that, then we need to compare the two different variable values. To do that, I'm going to add a weight block right here. And then I'm going to go to the red section and grab two variable blocks. I'm going to take one of them, keep it as left. The other one I'm going to change to right. And then next I'm going to go and grab a comparator. So one of these. Let me go ahead and move my program so you can see it. All right, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be checking to see which one is greater. And for these, I need to change these ones to read and then numeric, read, numeric. I'm going to put the left one inside of A, the right one inside of B. So what this is checking is checking if the left is greater than the right. And this will return either true or false. So depending whether this is true or false, this will let me know whether I need to ch uh, turn to the left or turn to the right. So if the left value is greater than the right value, that means in the left direction, the object is a farther distance away. So I would want to turn to the left. To make this decision, I'm going to go to the orange tab and grab a switch block. And let me go ahead and scoot over some more. And since the result of this will be a true or a false, I'm going to change this one to logic. And I'm going to put the results of this comparison right here. And I have two different options. So if it results in true, which means that left is greater than right, I'm going to put something here. If the result is false, which means that the right distance would be greater, I'm going to put something else here. So what I'm going to put is under the green tab, I'm going to put a move steering block in each of these. So in the true case, that would mean that the left distance is greater than the right. So I would want to turn to the left. So I'm going to put negative 50. And in the other case, this would mean that the right distance is greater than the left. So I would want to put 50 here. So it turns to the right. You may have to adjust these numbers if it's not a good right turn, but that's the basic idea. So let's go ahead and head back to the beginning and we'll go over this code. So in the beginning, what we're doing is we're telling the robot just to move forward. While it's moving forward, we're going to wait for some object to be less than 50 centimeters away. Once that happens, we're going to stop the motors. Then after that, we're going to turn the medium motor, which is attached to the ultrasonic sensor. We're going to turn that in the left direction. Once it's in the left direction, we're going to take a sensor reading and store that in the variable called left. After that, we're going to rotate to the right. We're going to take a sensor reading in the right direction and store that in a variable called right. Next, we're going to go from the right position back forward. So we're just turning the ultrason ultrasonic sensor back facing forward. Next, we're going to be comparing our left and our right values. To do that, we take both of those and put it in a comparison block. And we're asking, is the left value greater than the right value? This will give us a true or false, which we're using in this switch statement. If the statement is true, which once again would mean that the left distance is greater than the right, we would want to turn to the left. If it's not true, that means the right is greater than left. And in that case, we want to turn to the right. As soon as it picks a direction, it'll loop back and go to the beginning and continue going forward. So some things you may have to adjust with this program, depending on which way this faces. So this may actually turn the ultrasonic sensor to the right. 
If that happens, then just change the name of your variable to right, and you'd have to change this one to left, but the rest of it would work just the same. If you notice that you have some errors happening, you may want to add a few more wait blocks in between each turn, so you may want to add another one. Oops, let me change back to the pointer. So you may want to add another wait block here. Uh, just uh, The wait blocks just slow, slow things down a little bit, so it gives it a little bit more time to process. But for the most part, it's going to work fine for you. Uh, you can adjust the speed at the beginning here. So if you use a slower speed for this right here, it'll tend to be more accurate. But you can uh, make it go faster if you want to. You just have to see if it's still making the right decisions. Another thing you want to check if you're running into some issues, just go ahead and make sure all your ports are correct. So make sure if you're using B and C for your motors that it says it up here. For your ultrasonic sensor, make sure you either plug it into port 4 or change it to whatever port you're using. And that should be about all the issues you run into. This is a great project that you can learn a lot from. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one.